So I did it. I really did it. I found the one thing about Scientology that's weird. And trust me, this shit is crazy. So you know the Mission Impossible movies? Turns out they were factually accurate documentaries. Only instead of the Chinese or whatever, I've never seen them, it was the IRS. And instead of Tom Cruise, well, it was still Tom Cruise, but he was like eight inches shorter because this was real life. So the story technically begins about 75 million years ago with a space Hitler doing a space genocide. McDonnell Douglas was involved. It was a whole thing, but I digest. Anyway, the real shit began in the 70s. You see, Nixon had just been reelected in the largest landslide in American history. So pretty much everybody was like, fuck it. Let's just break into the offices of our enemies. Clearly nothing bad can come from that. So they did. At that time, over at the IRS, their thetan levels were off the chart. Like, really high thetan levels. You don't even want to know. So they were pretty much in a pissy mood all the time, and they didn't like Scientology because it's not like a normal religion just focused on, like, getting kids drunk or having fun overseas adventures. No, it's got aliens and shit, so it's evil. Anyway, these IRS agents, they threw some shade into a bunch of file cabinets, and the scientists were like, no. So they just decided they were going to steal all them documents from the government because, again, nothing bad could ever come from that. You see, Scientology was founded by this guy, L. Ron Hubbard, and he was the narrator on that show, Arrested Development, and he issued Guardian Order 732, which called on all the Scientologists to fight to remove any records that they considered to be erroneous, all to protect Scientology's long-term reputation. Ironic. So as a result, this dude literally had thousands of covert Scientologists out there targeting more than 130 U.S. and foreign government agencies, as well as going after some private organizations that they thought was xenophobic. This shit was big, but they also decided they were going to really focus in on the IRS, because if there was ever a bitch-ass organization that never fought back, it was the IRS. So then Tom Cruise, who is four foot eleven, he rappels down the side of the IRS building, fighting off the Dementors and that Auschwitz guy the whole time while he does, breaks in, takes all them bad documents, and leaves without a trace, never even once thinking about how hot other guys are. Not even Channing Tatum, which is quite an accomplishment. And so this operation, codenamed Snow White, it was a complete success. After that, Scientology became the most respected religion in the world, and nobody ever found out about all the bad shit they did. I never even heard of it. I'm just reading all this shit off a Wikipedia page, and I'm shocked that there's a religion with a Star Trek plot, but I support it. Anyway, Tommy C, he gets beamed back up to the mothership, and he and Elrond burn all those documents, and boom, mission impossible accomplished. That's right, mission impossible. Don't sue me, bro. Anyway, as a reward, Tom Cruise's thetan levels plummet all the way down to zero. He gets all of them alien souls removed, which is why he's got all that confidence, even though he's only four foot six. And then he gets first pick of the Dawson's Creek bitches, absconded away with the best one of them too. But don't worry, years later, she broke free from them Jurassic Park style electric fences he had built around his house to keep her in. And so she's fine now. She's hanging out with that chick from King of Queens. So they're all good. Anyway, that's pretty much it, and it was crazy. I may have exaggerated and blatantly lied about some shit, but that's okay. I think we can all agree that Scientology is an objectively bizarre religion. I mean, for God's sakes, they don't even practice ritual symbolic cannibalism on the weekends. Like, subscribe, pay me.